In a bid to mediate the escalation in Gaza, Qatar's Emir Sheikh Tamim bin Hamad Al Thani held talks with Egyptian President Abdel Fattah Al Sisi in Cairo. Both leaders focused on achieving a ceasefire in Gaza, ensuring humanitarian aid for the besieged 2.3 million residents, and securing the release of Israeli hostages. Sisi's office highlighted discussions about intensified efforts for a Gaza ceasefire and the delivery of sufficient humanitarian. Aid. Qatar emphasized joint efforts to halt aggression, reduce escalation, and provide urgent aid for Gaza. The Qatari Emirs' visit follows a meeting between Qatar's Prime Minister and the heads of the CIA and Mossad in Doha. This meeting aimed to discuss terms for a hostage release and a temporary halt to the conflict between Israel and Hamas. AFP reaffirms its steadfast support for its colleagues in Gaza, working under extremely challenging conditions. Controversy arose when honest reporting questioned the ethics of Gaza-based photographers, not explicitly mentioning AFP but leading to social media speculation. AFP's Global News Director Phil Chetwin vehemently dismissed any insinuation of collision between their journalist and Hamas during the 7th October attack, deeming it disgraceful and defamatory. Chetwin emphasized that AFP covered the event as a major news story, responding promptly to unfolding events on the ground. He asserted that the photographers were merely documenting the breaking news and any suggestion of impropriety is baseless. AFP also said that it reserved the right to take legal action in response to these allegations. Indonesia's top Islamic clerical body, the Indonesian Ulama Council, has issued a fatwa urging a boycott of goods and services from companies supporting Israel. The religious edict emphasizes Muslims' obligation to stand in solidarity with the Palestinians against what it terms Israeli aggression. The fatwa explicitly declares that supporting Israel or its backers is contrary to Islamic law. Asroran Niam Shole, an executive of the council, conveyed the MUI's call for every Muslim to avoid transactions involving Israel-affiliated products and supporters of colonialism and Zionism. He underscored the moral stance stating that supporting a party at war with Palestine, including using products, funding acts against Palestinians cannot be endorsed. The UN High Commissioner for Human Rights, Walker Turk, has urged an investigation into Israel's use of high-impact explosive weapons in Gaza. He expressed concern about the indiscriminate destruction caused by these weapons in the densely populated enclave, home to 2.3 million Palestinians, half of whom have been displaced in the past month. Although the specific weapons were not mentioned, Turk called for an immediate cessation of their use in the area. Meanwhile, Gaza's health ministry reported a death toll of 11,078 during a five-week Israeli military campaign since 7 October. This includes 4,506 children with 27,490 people wounded in the conflict between Israel and Hamas.